Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa. I'm an expat in Amsterdam. I arrived about three months ago now. Time goes by so quickly. Um, and this channel is all about videos that I make about my expat life here. This video is part of a series of videos that I'm doing about how I try to save money in Amsterdam. And I'm going to try to cover topics that haven't really been covered before on YouTube. So if you don't want to miss out on this video series, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out. Today I'm going to be talking about the things that I do to save money when I go grocery shopping in Amsterdam. Obviously, um, you know, grocery shopping is something everyone has to do. You've got to eat. I'm finding, you know, with lockdown, we are cooking and eating at home a lot more than we usually would. So I think if you shop smart, you can end up saving quite a bit of money. When I first arrived, I was actually overwhelmed by all the grocery shopping options in the Netherlands. We've got our behind, we've got Lidl, we've got Jumbo, um, Dirk. Uh, Audi and then you've also got the smaller um, supermarket chains like Spa, Plus, Coop, you've also got Turkish supermarkets, Asian supermarkets, the street markets which here in Amsterdam are open every day except for Sunday and then on top of that you've got organic supermarkets like Eco Plaza and Market. In this video I will not be talking about um, Eco Plaza or Market or any other organic supermarket because generally speaking organic items are going to be more expensive than non-organic items. Having said that if you are committed to eating organically both Eco Plaza and Market are available on the Too Good To Go app. I did a video about the Too Good To Go app a few weeks ago so I'll link it up above Above here. I should also note that my husband and I mostly eat a plant-based diet. What that means is I can't actually really comment on how the price of meat and poultry at supermarkets compares with say like your local butcher. The more you plan ahead, the more you're going to save money when you buy your groceries. And for me, in Amsterdam, the best tool that I've found is the Folders app. So that's my number one tip, I guess, is to download the Folders app. This app is amazing. It collates all the weekly special catalogs and brochures from all the major supermarkets. On top of that, the app also has brochures for non-supermarket stores too, like Action, um, it's got pharmacies like Etos. It also allows you to favorite the different stores that you're interested in. So in my particular case, I only favorite the major supermarkets around my area. So that way I don't have to flick through a million different catalogs each week. I can just focus on the five catalogs that I'm really interested in and that just saves me a lot of time. What I do every week, it's almost become a bit like a ritual for me. Every Saturday or Sunday, I'll sit down with a pen and paper or my computer, and I'll go through the different catalogs store by store and jot down the items that I'm interested in buying. I even go as far as to write down the prices. The reason why I do this, especially with seasonal fruits and vegetables, the same item might be on sale in multiple different supermarkets or multiple different stores I often just want to make sure that I'm definitely paying the lowest price for the same item and that's why I think it's quite important to write down the price of those items the other thing that I do to save some money when I go grocery shopping is I try to buy certain items in bulk spices in particular are very expensive to buy in supermarkets and quite often they come in like these teeny tiny little glass containers so what I would recommend is you go to like a local spice shop um, or a Turkish shop quite often they have spices in much bigger packages um, and the same goes for tea leaves and lentils and things like that like rice more often than not the prices will be a lot more competitive in those shops than say if you were to buy them from supermarkets alternatively you can also check out some online bulk buy health food stores the ones that I know of are Pit Pit 
and D. Norton. I have found that the prices on those websites are more often than not way more competitive than the supermarket price. You do need storage containers to store those spices in or store those tea leaves in. I just choose to reuse the pasta sauce jars, jam jars, all sorts of different jars that my food already comes in when I buy it from the supermarket. I just wash them and use them to hold my spices. Not only is it a sustainable option but you don't have to spend any extra money to store your spices and your tea leaves. How good is that? I also go by the rule of thumb that Alba Heim would generally speaking be a little bit more expensive than um, other supermarkets. I typically compare Alba Heim with Dirk because they're both um, the closest supermarkets to me and almost always if I'm looking for a pantry staple, if I want to buy something that's not a weekly special, then Alba Heim will be the more expensive option. Having said that, I wouldn't write off Albert Hein completely. So what I find is both Jumbo and Albert Hein typically tend to stock a bigger range of products than Dirk, um, Lidl or Audi. For instance, if you have a lot of different dietary requirements, maybe you're vegan or gluten-free, a store like Albert Hein and Jumbo is more likely to cater to those dietary requirements than say Dirk or um, Lidl and Audi. Also, Albert Hein and Jumbo offer online delivery service, which is super handy right now because of COVID. Maybe you don't want to be always going out. Both supermarkets, they require a 50 euro minimum order for free delivery however with Alba Hein there is a really cool option where you can buy promotional products in exchange for free delivery with no minimum charge so if it so happens that you wanted to buy these promotional products anyway then this could be a really great option for you if you do choose to still shop at Alba Hein for whatever reason then make sure you get the bonus card you can get the bonus card at the customer service desk at any Alba Hein store um, and I would also recommend you download the Albert Hein app too. Both are completely free and the reason why I say you need to get the bonus card is because only bonus card holders are eligible for the catalog specials. Additionally, if you do really still want to shop at Albert Hein for whatever reason but you still want to be a little bit more budget conscious then I would recommend you check out the Albert Hein house range. So Albert Hein has their own brand and they produce a whole range of their own products such as you know sauces, um, condiments, crackers, biscuits, chocolates, pretty much anything I can think of they have an Alba Hein alternative and the Alba Hein brand will always be cheaper than say like a well-known internationally recognized brand for the same product. I've tried a few of the Alba Hein products and so far so good. I think the products taste great. They don't taste any different to the branded products. And then finally the mantra that I have in my head whenever I go grocery shopping is to never assume that Audi or Lidl, those no no frill supermarkets will necessarily always be the cheapest option for every single product. In fact, I have found, especially with Audi, I don't live near a little, so I can't comment specifically on their prices, but the Audi that's near us, I go there every now and then, and almost always, unless the product is a catalog special, almost always the product does not necessarily end up being cheaper than if I had bought it at a major supermarket like Dirk. My rule of thumb is I will only buy things from Audi or Lidl if it is a catalog special. And even so, I still go through that process of cross-checking those catalog specials with the major supermarkets that I also frequent, just to make sure that price really is the lowest price available. And I have to say sometimes the catalog special at Audi and Lidl is still not the cheapest option compared to Dirk or even Alba Hein. So buyer beware, be careful with that. The same mantra applies for markets. You'll hear people say, oh, if you get your fruit and veggies at the markets, it'll always be cheaper than the supermarket. At least for me with the market that's near my place, that is not always the case at all. What I found is like because I go through the catalogs quite regularly, I go through it every week, I have a pretty good understanding of firstly what is seasonal and I have a very good idea of um, how much 
the vegetables and fruits that I often buy are going to cost me. I will go and stroll down the markets and I will get some really great deals, but it helps to know what the prices are at a given week um, at the supermarkets before you go to the markets and that way you're going to be able to know what is actually a good deal. The other benefit I guess for shopping at the market is that you're going to reduce your plastic um, consumption because what I find is often the fruit and vegetables in supermarkets they're packaged in plastic unnecessarily so. So maybe you might want to weigh up the environmental versus economic costs of both options and that's your personal choice. So now I'm going to go through some common phrases that you'll see in catalogs. I picked three phrases that you'll probably see most often. The first one is op is op, so op equals op and the direct translation for that is when it's gone it's gone, it means last chance. The second common phrase that you'll see is to e and then gratis or you'll see to harlan equals one betalan. What that means is buy two get one free. You will get that all the time. Almost every week there is this buy two get one free deal for something. And the third phrase is courting. So you'll see things like 50% courting, 30% courting. That means just discount. So 50% discount, 30% discount. So that's it. Those are all the things that I've learned during my time in Amsterdam, but that's not to say I know everything. So if you know of any other grocery shopping tips that I should know about, I would love to find out. As you can tell, I try to be as budget savvy as possible. If you like this video and if it was helpful for you, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit subscribe because like I said, I am going to do a few more of these videos about saving money in Amsterdam. I think I'm gonna leave it here now and I hope to see you next week. Bye.